olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, some nut oils. There's loads of real food, crushed real food oils. Now, I don't recommend taking a lot of oils because they have a lot of energy and very little nutrients. But, but if you're going to have oils, lard, tallow, there's all these real food, crushed oils that come from real foods. Uh, but the idea of having sunflower, canola, or any of this junk out mm -hmm. of the factory, you know, no way. Yeah, I mean, I've heard and read about how our fat cells are so full of these omega-6 oils now. You know, we're walking canola bottles. <laughs> it, it, it's bad. And for people to know that, yeah, these, not only do the vegetable oils that are the factory fats or the fake fats, I call them, they're extracted from seeds with hexane and solvents high temperatures and pressures, and the fat molecules get damaged. So there's a whole problem with their processing, damaging the fats, and they're going to end up making up your cells, as you said, which is mm. quite crazy. Mm. And the other thing is they're generally, the seeds are high omega-6. So people might know the omega-3 fats are the fish oils, healthy, and the omega-6 are kind of plant oils that are more pro-inflammatory. So you've got the factory processing damaging the molecules, and then you've got the fact that we're only meant to get around 1% of our diet of these omega-6 fats naturally for millions of years. And now people are around 10 to 11 or 12% of their calories in America or more are coming from omega-6 vegetable fats. And people might think, well, how can people be drinking that much vegetable oil? And it's not really the oil that you pour a little on your salad. Salad, As I said at the start, the vegetable oils are the foundation and bedrock of modern ultra-processed foods. So ultra-processed foods, which is most foods in the supermarket, look at the back, you're going to have vegetable oils in there and they're going to be a big percentage of the calories. Yeah, because they're cheap as chips, nothing. So refined carbs, sugars, and vegetable oils are the bedrock of ultra-processed foods. The three worst things, I call them the devil's triad, the yeah. three worst foods in the universe, and they are the basis of ultra-processed modern foods. Mm. So it's not the E numbers. It's not like some of the other stuff we used to get fussy about. It's the fundamental makeup of the foods are terrible. And sometimes it's important to have a look in those and those little ingredients, isn't it? Because often they're listed in there as, you know, under all sorts of names too. It's quite incredible. That, that's a clever, a clever trick. In 2012, I gave one of my first public lectures and um, I think it was called the metabolic syndrome, very original, which is insulin resistance syndrome, which is what we're talking about, type two diabetes syndrome. And I went through at the time, 46 different names for sugar that wow. the industry uses. And what they even do, and this, this is clever and, and evil, obviously, what they do is if you've got 20 things on the list of ingredients, by law, you have to put the most common, biggest uh, component at the top of the list. So when people look at the top five things, they're the, they're the five things that make up most of the product. So the top one might be 15% of the calories, the next one's seven, the next one's three, and they go down to tiny. The clever thing they did is they call sugar maybe four different things in the list. So instead of sugar being at the top of the list, like say 20% of calories, you've got a, a name for sugar with six, a name for sugar with four, that's 10, <laughs> a name for sugar with like three. And you know, they oh, spread it down the yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, clever. Yeah, very clever. I didn't know that. That's, that's something to look out for actually. Mm, yeah, that's a good little trick. Mm. Oh, and another thing that's uh, Australian, I think, not New Zealand, there's a big uh, Ferrari at the moment about the tick mark for oh, healthy yes. foods. They have an On A, B, how much C, you D, pay e. How much you pay to get your tick too. Yeah, well, there's the tick, but it just, I recall yesterday, A, B, C, D, E, I think it's Australia. They've got this food labeling as to how good it is. And a tin of sardines, the, one of the healthiest foods on the planet, is C. It's orange, C. And there's other real foods that are marked C and D, but you never believe. You know what's A? They have sugary cereals like Nesquik are A. Yeah. <laughs> the best yeah, food you can it's... I, it's unbelievable. Oh, uh, because the industry insane. basically has, yeah, owns the system. Yeah, it's just absolutely insane. But anyway, we can try and turn that around, change people's buying habits.
So with these fats, I mean, the, the best way to eat fats is just to eat your meat and your animal products and just eat the fats that come along with that. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of actually how little saturated fat is in, you know, say 100 grams of beef, for example. It's, you know, it's got maybe 4 to 5% saturated fat compared with, say, olive oil that's got 14% saturated fat. So... Yeah, I mean, that's a good, I think Zoe Harcombe in the UK did a, a drawing of a, a steak, a nice ribeye. Yeah, yeah, she did. Portioned mm. it. Mm. The amount of fat is tiny. I mean, you yeah. eat processed food, you're going to be eating a ton more toxic fats, like mm. we discussed. Mm. You're eating mm. a steak. It's only a percent or two is saturated fat. And then there's another percent or two are monounsaturated fat, which is the olive oil, main fat, healthy and then there's tiny amounts of omega-6 and omega-3, depending on your source. I mean, good New Zealand lamb would be relatively high omega-3. Mm. Uh, lamb has been called in Ireland, and I think New Zealand, land salmon, because mm. properly reared lamb actually is quite high in omega-3. But like you said, the beef and all, there's not actually much saturated fat in it anyway. Uh, no. And the saturated fat is not a problem. If you don't eat with it the refined carbohydrates mm. or vegetable oils, if you just eat saturated fatty products on their own, real food, like you say, it's in the food, no problem. If you mix it with burger buns and sugary sauces, natural Absolutely. fats mixed with all the sugary crap, bets are off. Mm. I call that putting the I call that putting petrol on the fire, you know? Yeah. You know, just explodes, doesn't it? Yeah, it's bad news and it's oh it's chronic. I mean, if you occasionally do something, yeah, whatever, but people are just year in, year out for decades oh, flowing yeah. this bad mixture of fuel into their system and eventually yeah, the system out. blows up. Mm. Mm. 